Hi, this is Rob. Today I want to talk about setting up a Linux CNC machine with touch plate. Get started right away here. We're going to go to there. Click CNC. Step configuration wizard. Start. New version. I'm going to call this one touch plate. And we're going to set up with the Gecko 540 there. And the rest is my basic stuff we'll leave on that screen. This screen, all I care about is getting something that'll run and setting up the probe, which will be on the input side over here. I've got it set up on pin 13. Probe in, and we invert this one. That's all for that screen. Important screen here. We're going to use the PYVCP or Python virtual control panel for the menu for a button to press on that. And we need to have the classic ladder going to. Yeah, you see, I have a little bit of space to work with when I set this up. This isn't a real machine configuration. I'm just doing something for testing here. And that's it. Okay, here's the configuration we just put together. And I'm going to open it up just to make sure it works. There we go. That's good. I'm going to go to machine and HAL meter. We've got these two things pop up right here and go to signals probe in got a little thing right here i set up a just a little button here if i press it you can see it goes from false true false true so i know that's working exit and close that up again okay now we're gonna go to the setup files okay there's always the ina ini file you can open that one up and I set up some old files over here. You can download these if you want from the link. Okay, so a lot of these things make sense. The little headers and the brackets here, EMC, display, things that like make a lot of sense, filter, task. Here's one, RS27, whatever, yada, yada. Makes no sense at all. But all I need to know is I can put a path in here. We're going to set up a folder that will have some G code scripts. To do what we want you'll have to edit this file a little bit notice it says rob here i doubt your login name is rob you'll put your login name there and the location the name of your configuration which is right here called mine touch plate that's the two things you have to change on that one okay now go down a little further there's hal ui i've got two things we'll call some things on here these will be those g codes we're calling One's going to free a go home, and one's called touch plate. And that's all we're going to do on the INI. Close it up and save it. Then we want to go, I'm just going to delete the custom panel. It's blank right now. And copy the custom panel here. Copy it over. And one more thing, custom post GUI. And here's the one I supplied. I'm just going to copy and paste the two commands on here. You can copy the whole darn thing. It actually doesn't really matter. It always sets up a spindle speed true on there, which we aren't going to use. So if it's there, it's fine. If it's not, fine too. Okay. I've copied that over. Save that too. Now when we open up the program, we'll see if everything looks okay. Everything looks right. Turn off the e stop, set it up, home the machine real quick. I always get a couple errors down here. It's because the machine's so slow for our settings. Who cares? It's really hot in the garage right now. I live in Arizona desert. It's about 115 in the garage. That's why I have a little laptop inside the house here to set these dev things up. So I will set the home plate and we get an error. Great. Unable to open the file. I made a mistake. Let's go fix that real quick. 
Okay, over in these files here that's applied, there's a folder called Routines. I forgot to copy that over. Copy, paste. Inside that folder are two G codes. One says Go Home, lifts up the Z plate half an inch, then goes to zero, 00 for XY. Pretty basic. And the other one is the Touch Plate G code. A little more complex. Um, Here's where it starts, touch plate, that's the name of it. G91, so it switches, so we move coordinates to the relative system instead of the absolutes. Okay, so G38, that's what's gonna lower the machine down and stop when it hits the touch plate. It's gonna pop back up a little bit here. Same thing as go down to the touch plate, but slower this time, so it's gonna be more exact. Hits it and goes back up again. Then for what I have, I had a pause in here. It's actually a tool change technically, but I just wanted to pause. I take the plate out, then it continues down and sets machine at zero, the new zero for the Z plate. I manually switch it there to on the machine to set the zero. Other people have used the G54. Some people use this version, two or three. If you want to switch those, you comment this out or delete this part out and use the parentheses, take those out. Right now they're commented out, so they're not used with the parentheses. Just take the root of the parentheses, that would work, or this will work. Those are the three common ways I've seen people use zero machines. Let's open this up again now. And where we can see it, take off the e-stop, power up the stepper motors. Get rid of our little errors we keep getting. Okay, so let's move the machine a little bit somewhere. Okay, home. Pops the machine up and goes over. Woohoo, perfect on that one. Now let's try the touch plate. Okay, it's going down. I hit my button. It touched. Now it's going to go down slower. Touch. It popped up. Now it says tool change. Hit OK. It'll go down a little further and stop. And then I would make that my new Z. So I hit zero, home machine. Now the machine is zeroed. Here we've got my Linux CNC screen on my machine. Go ahead and turn the power on. And I've got a little button down here for the touch plate. And up here I've just got a little copper clad plate. And we have the clip on the router. So I'm going to hit touch plate. It's going to go down, touch it, it'll go down slowly to get an accurate spot, and back up. And the way I have mine set up is I'm setting the absolute zero, so I'm going to hit continue. It'll go down to the zero spot, then I hit zero Z right here, and I've set the absolute machine zero.